including some of the extrude tools, some other tools we've already talked about, as well as some, um, some complex sketching tools. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new Part Studio tab, just like we've been doing, and we're going to rename this Lego. So we're essentially going to model a six peg Lego piece. It's not going to be wildly accurate to the actual Lego piece, but um, it'll you know, represent what we want it to represent. So we're gonna make a new sketch on the top plane and I'm going to look at things from the top. I'm gonna rename this Lego base. I am going to choose center point rectangle starting at the origin. And I'm going to make this Lego, let's say six inches by 2.5 inches. And maybe we'll do three inches. That looks a little bit better. So it's more of a rectangle. All right, great. So I'm gonna hit the green check and I'm gonna to go to isometric view. Now I'm going to hit the extrude tool and I'm going to extrude this up. Let's try 2.5 inches and see how that looks. That's good. So I'm gonna do Lego base again and hit the green check. Okay, so now I have the base of my Lego shape. Now we obviously need to make the peg. So we've done something a little bit similar to this um, in class already. So we're gonna go ahead, make a new sketch, and I'm going to sketch on top of the top of my Lego block. I'm gonna name this pegs and look at things from the top. So now I'm going to make a center point circle, and I'm gonna start this in the corner. I'm going to make this circle one inch in diameter, and then let's start positioning this circle and see how things look. So maybe I'll make it one inch from the side and using the dimension tool to move it one inch from the top. One inch from the top is a little close to the center line. So let's see what 0.75 inches would look like. That looks a little better. Okay, so now that we have it positioned, we are going to use the linear pattern tool to make this one circle into six circles. So I'm going to choose the tool. I'm going to click on the circle. Then you'll notice this is a six peg Lego uh, brick. So I'm only, I only want three across, okay? But we want these to be nicely spaced. So it looks like that if I change this number here, the distance between the center points of the two circles to two, things look pretty even, right? This circle is in the center of, you know, the origin in line with the origin in line with that plane. So we're good. Now, we want another row down at the bottom. We don't want another row coming up at the top. So I'm going to hit this arrow and I'm going to change this one X to two X because we want two rows of circles. I'm going to start pulling this down and it looks like that if we make it, mm, let's try 1.5 and see what it looks like. That looks pretty even to me. So now these two rows are 1.5 inches apart and these uh, circles on the rows going horizontally are two inches apart. Okay, so we're going to hit the green check and now we have our nice beautiful circles. I am then going to click all six circles, the insides of the circles, not the outer edge, and I'm going to press extrude. And now we want this to be an add extrude because we want our pegs to be always connected to the Lego block. I'm going to extrude this up 0.75 inches so they're not too tall. I'm going to rename this pegs and I'm going to hit the green check. Now Lego pegs at the top are slightly rounded. So I'm going to use the fillet tool and I'm going to click all of these edges of the tops of my pegs and we'll uh, fill it them to a radius of 0.1 inches. I'm going to hit the green check. And now we have our Lego peg, our Lego brick. To check to make sure that you did it right, before we do that, let's rename it Lego brick. I'm going to assign material. And let's pretend this is a wooden Lego brick. So let's try Purple Heart. Purple Heart is a uh, type of wood. It's from a tree, but the wood actually looks purple. It's kind of cool. So we'll choose Purple Heart. We'll hit the green check. I'll click on the Lego brick. I'll click on the scale. And it's 1.629 pounds. As long as you're within 0.1 pounds of me, you're good to go.